up guys it's me Danica Lee and welcome back to my channel can't believe this is like the second video I'm doing so today is going to be a hair tutorial on how I got this look this is just like a really fun go-to hairstyle that I do a lot it's super quick it looks like I feel like it looks like a million bucks that's just me and it's so easy so to see how I got this easy curly hairstyle just keep watching okay so I am waiting for my curling iron to heat up ha 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 this is the best curling iron ever it's called Sultra this wand will change your life oh it's green it just turned on that makes me excited ha ha literally I have had this curling iron for years so many years at least eight plus years and it finally just died on me like this past year and then I just got this one as a replacement it's I guess just like the updated version of it it's the best it's like literally I didn't realize how spoiled I was with this freaking wand because when I tried to replace it with something else I was losing my mind I was like how is this like a thing right now I notice on other wands which drives me insane is that like this top a lot of them have this like nub on the end of it and your hair gets stuck on it and like you can't just like nicely drop it out like I was like oh my god I need my Sultra my favorite curling iron ever go get it everybody love it I will link it down below I do everything without a mirror. Like I literally do it on camera, which is so challenging. I don't know why I do that to myself. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best. Bear with me. So what we're gonna do first, I have this heat protectant. I don't necessarily like overly recommend it. I just use it. It makes your hair a little, almost like hairspray. It says holds curls up to 24 hours, protects up to 450 heat. So, I mean, I like what it does. I got it at TJ Maxx, it was $8.99. I was like, okay, it's the hot, um, hot sexy hair. The texture is the only thing that's like different to me, but I kind of like it because it holds the curl more. Like usually a heat protectant just does solely that. Like it's not meant to make the curl like last longer necessarily. And this makes a little texture in the hair that holds it for longer and it protects your hair. So whatever i'm using it this is what i'm using today and i have really long hair like my hair is very very long my hair is heavy kind of and i feel like ever since i got color in my hair meaning blonde it is easier to hold a curl my natural hair had trouble holding curls when it was super super long so i think between this highlights the hairspray it actually holds now so i'm gonna just spray the top lightly Ooh. Okay, kind of all over, just, you know, lightly coated. Now what we're gonna do is you wanna leave a few pieces in the front and I'm going to do that now. It doesn't have to be perfect, like it really doesn't. So this is why it's like really easy and anyone can do it. So just like try to make it even, it looks even to me. Sure, apply this together just to like get it out of the way. So this next part is probably, if there is a challenging part of this hair, this is the challenging part. And it's really not bad, I promise. <laughs> I look crazy right now. So I'm just gonna go like this, like from my ears, like this with my thumb. And just do it like how you would do a normal half up, half down. And just trace your crown. If you have a rake, you can like make sure things are like, and I just literally feel in the back like I don't even know if it's straight to be honest I really don't care this is easy simple thing this is so hard without a mirror I literally don't even care and you want to get these guys these are like my problems you want to get those and you just want to smooth it out as best you can for now you just don't want to make this part thicker than this part. You want more hair down here than you do here. Okay, so now that you have it like pretty much just in your hand as a ponytail, you're gonna take a brush. This is the wet brush by Brush Pro. Just any brush, use a brush. And you're gonna just brush it up. And you're mainly brushing it on these parts to smooth this out. 
do that to both sides. Just brush it, smooth it out so that you don't look like you have bald spots. <laughs> and now once that's good, this is just like a rough version of it. You're gonna redo it once you get it in the ponytail. And if you have blonde hair or like balayage or whatever, what I have, these are great to use instead of the black ones or brown ones, you it camouflages better. Okay, so now you're gonna put it pretty high, pretty high at the top of your head. And just do it, pull it like this to make it like more like fountainy. We're already looking like something's going on. So what I'm gonna do now is, okay, so see this? This is no good, but this is gonna get slicked. I'm gonna just brush away this part. Try not to get this involved when you're brushing, because it'll just pull from the top and then it'll be annoying. Okay, so this is like annoying me, this right here. So what I'm gonna do, this is nearly impossible doing this without a mirror. Just, just so you guys know. In a mirror, this would have been done already. So now you're just gonna hit it once and smooth it with your hand. Like that. You're gonna do it again. This part's important because this is what's gonna make it look slicked. So you take the brush and you smooth it with it. All right, so now that that's pretty smoothed out, do the same thing to the other side. Push it up. And then brush that a little. And I'm not using it like flat, I'm using the very edge, just the edge, just to smooth it. Okay, so now that is more slick, at least you have like this part under control. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna redo the ponytail, but it's like already in its shape. So this is when you can smooth it out better too. Okay, and then I did four loops on that one now. The tighter you make the ponytail, the more of like a fountain effect you can get. Okay, so this is how we're looking at the moment. Okay, so now you could take out this part that. So you can even leave this straight. Like you don't even have to curl it. It's just like such an easy, great, like hairstyle that I feel like just makes you feel like a million bucks. And it's so easy, but we're gonna curl it. Okay, so now this is such a good trick and it literally elevates any ponytail, any half up, half down. What you have to do, okay, it's very easy. Take a little sliver of the ponytail Take a little sliver. I'm gonna try to get a blonde piece if I can. Yeah, I think this is the blonde piece. And I'm going to you wrap it around your ponytail. And it literally just elevates any ponytail to the next level, my friend. And then you're just gonna take the leftover and you're going to bobby pin it to the back. You guys know how to do that. And I crisscross the bobby pins, so one on top of the other. And then go like that. And boom, shaka laka. Oh my god, I just realized my bathroom fan was probably going on through all of that, which is just superb. Sorry. Okay, so just like try to hide the bobby pin as best you can. Like, whatever. So now we're just gonna curl this. So I'm gonna split my hair in the back, just, you know, half and half. This curling iron is so hot, so it comes with a glove. It's like really intense. The side that I'm on is the side that I'm gonna use the glove. So I'm on my left side, so I'm using the left glove. I'm gonna keep this separate. I'm just gonna do this now. And this is like whatever, like you don't have to be precise with the chunks. I'm just taking it like this. Take the curling iron in this hand, you put it down and you wrap it away from the face. And you will get a different curl. See how I'm putting it very flat onto the barrel? I'm not twisting the hair, it's flat on. You get a different curl if you were to, let's say like twist the hair around your finger and then wrap it. It's a different type of curl. I personally like this curl better. And usually I just wait until my fingers burn. That's how you know. She's done. So then you just let it drop. And that's why I love this curling iron because it just lets you drop it. It doesn't have a stupid nub on the end. And then you hold it for it to cool down a little bit. You hold it and then drop it. And 
drop it. And boom, she's springy. This curling iron's amazing. I'm gonna show you what I mean by, if you, let's say, were to do this before and make it look like this and then curl it, you're gonna get a different curl. Don't, I personally like this to be flat against the iron. Flat, try not to spin it to get a better ringlet, I feel. Please do not use this curling iron without this glove. You will no longer have a hand, you've been warned. get the gist. We're going away from the face. Away, 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 away. On the other side, you're going to go opposite curls, which helps with like the volume and stuff like that. Make sure you get those ends to curl. Boom. time what I mean so away so I'm going this curling iron is underneath the hair I'm going away from my face away almost drop down my leg boom so then I'm gonna do the ponytail last so I'm gonna push that onto the side and I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side oh I'm gonna switch my glove now that we're on the right side, the glove goes on the right. Okay, so now we're still going, I like wrap the cord around my arm. We're still going with the barrel underneath the hair to go away from the face. Away. Hold it. It's always important to like hold it here for a little bit because it cools. It cools the curl and it makes it, you know, last longer. And then just drop her away. How many times can we say away from the face in this video? So many. Just wanna make sure you guys get it. I low key hate how this glove kind of matches my shirt. Oh, she was nice. She was a nice girl. I don't know why everyone that lives upstairs to me has to be so freaking loud. Shut up. Like, what are you doing up there? Lord, can't you tell I'm trying to be YouTube famous? Excuse you, rude. Hey, we're almost done. I wish I was drinking wine right now. It's something I definitely wish I was doing. Missed opportunities left and right. <laughs> Honestly, I probably shouldn't be using hot tools with on the edge now don't we see so this is curled all the way through oh i missed one this little bastard almost got away now i'm gonna do the ponytail so i'm just gonna split it in half same thing about like a couple sections here you don't want just like only two try to do a couple sections same thing, away from the face on this side. Whoa, <laughs> get it, shorty. I just can't believe I'm doing this without a mirror. I should be receiving some type of award. If I can do this literally without a mirror, anyone can do this, I promise. I will be honest though, I had to sneak away a couple times to make sure everything was looking okay in a real mirror. Always keeping it real with you people. Always keeping it real. I think I'm only gonna do like two more here, because. I'm frankly over it. Right now we have not so we were sick. Love that for me. Like this does not have to be perfect like whatsoever. Cause we're gonna brush all this out at the end anyway. So it doesn't even matter. Yeah, you ain't walking around like this. with some prom hair, which is cool, but when you're 30, it's not. I like the words, what am I even saying? Ow, burning, burning. Okay, so we're about to go to dance line. Woo! We are on kick line at the moment. Oh my God, I was just burning myself. Again. Boom shakalaka. You got, you got the picture here. And if you're doing this on like your little daughter, which you totally could, leave it boingy 
freaking springy and that's so cute for a five-year-old but like for a 30 year old it's creepy okay now we're gonna do the front pieces the front pieces will make or break you no pressure oh, it doesn't even matter it's straight whatever make this flat do not twirl this do not twist it make it flat and go underneath away from the face and we're not going to hold it as long as the other ones we're just gonna drop it quick there we go switch my glove same thing yeah you don't need to make the front super ringlety you want them to brush out okay so this is what we have right now so now you're going to spray it a little bit. You don't want to gotta drench it, but just so it lasts. And just like crump it up. Crinkle, crinkle, crump, crinkle. We're crumping now. I don't know what's happening. Crunch it, crunch it up. Crunching. That's done. Oh, and the, sh the hairspray I use is Big Sexy Hair. I like it. It's hairspray, whatever. Okay, now this is the part where you have to have a rake. I do recommend a rake. I don't recommend anything else. Just go buy yourself a rake. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start, take the whole thing, start at the bottom and rake it down. Brush it out. Brush it out, brush my out. Try not to try to separate the ponytail because it will pull and it will mess this up. Start from the bottom and work your way up because we don't want prom hair. And then do the same thing with this one. Start at the bottom. Push it through. And you just kind of play with it. Just separate it. very important to start at the bottom and work your way up. You start at the top, you'll have all these knots, you will destroy all the curls, and it'll just not be cute. I will hate that for you, you will hate that for you, it will suck. Let's see how we're looking, yes. So now you're gonna do the fronts. This is like easy, you just kinda like pull it, spin it, whatever. we did them lightly so they'll just like relax on their own this is pretty much like the final look the more you keep brushing through it it's like it just gets better as the curls fall like this isn't like not a stiff like hairstyle like you can move you can and it just gets better as the day goes on and it will last all night and it's cute and it's fun and it's different and it's like hey like she cute or whatever you always gotta like hype yourself up. Like if you ain't gonna do it, nobody is. Preach. So that is it guys. That is how I got this half up, half down curly hairstyle. I hope that you guys love it. I hope you guys try it. Just do it. Just do it. If you guys do this look and you're on Instagram, follow me at Danica Lee New York and tag me. I would love to see how you guys recreate this, how you guys are rocking it, how you guys are loving this hair. I hope you guys feel like the bad bitches that you are when you do this hairstyle because it is just that, honey. Let me know in the comments below any future videos that you want to see. Let me know what I can help you with and subscribe. If you can subscribe to my channel, I would love you forever. And if you guys like my makeup in this video, I did do another video of my easy everyday makeup routine. So go check that out. It's pretty much the same exact look. I walk you through step-by-step step how to do that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
dropping everything. We are dropping everything. Oh my God, I can't do this without a mirror. Oh, I changed my shirt like four times before this shirt is on and I don't even know. So it's just, we're just doing it. This is the shirt for the video, okay? Just feel like a bad bitch with this hair. Like, yes, wear some boots and thigh highs. Just paint the town red, baby. Now all we need is a drink, sweetheart. <laughs> hey, oh. oh my God, I need to relax. I swear it's this hair. Mm, 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 mm. I'm still Jenny from the block. Uh, uh. We're Brooklyn, we're Brooklyn. Oh, oh. I just realized that this video could be very New York of me. <laughs> very New York, Long Island, Italian, New York of me. But I don't know, I like this hair. I'm just like, I'm a fan, okay? Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're wrong if you correct me. I don't know where we going with this hair, but we going, honey. We going to Bianco. <laughs> Does anyone remember that? Like 150 years ago? Bianco? What else? Hair makes me want to just like go out there and like dance to Chris Brown. I don't know why. I'm sick of that. What am I even saying right now? Like, what am I even saying? I'm alarmed at the activity that is happening above me. Seriously? Concerning, alarming. What are you doing, sir? Killing me. You killing me. Mm-hmm. Get it, Shoddy. I feel like I can do a full Beyonce concert with this hair. <laughs> Trying to shut this off because <laughs> I don't want to burn my house down. Oh, you just want to be a today, don't you? What am I doing wrong, sir? What can we call her? She most certainly needs a name. What is she? What is she? What should this hair be called? Because this hair, she is, she is someone. She has a name, a personality, a zip code. I don't know, but she cute. That's what I know, she cute. I don't know where this accent is coming from. Like I have no idea. And to tell you it's the hair, like, she is someone <laughs> like this hair is she's just here she's here there's an accent there's everything don't don't try to stop her don't try to stop her what am i missing hmm. i'm telling you you like turn into that bitch when you have this hair i'm telling you you know fight some bitch on the block i got you need to get married tonight i got you you need to change your tinder profile Honey, I got you. I have like serious issues. Serious issues. <laughs> I just pimp slap my rake. Here we go again with the intro. What am I supposed to say now? Here I am. <sighs> Who is texting me while I'm filming? Like, hello, don't you see I'm busy? I'm obviously doing really important things here. Not interrupt the people getting to know how to do this. Oh, I just broke all my bones. Ow. What happens as we get older, but at least we still got the locks. We still got the locks, honey. The best part of waking up is bad bitch in your cup. Oh, I cringe at myself every five minutes. I am very cringy. Indeed. Indeed I am. Alright, I gotta relax. Love you guys. Bye.